Who Lou Papa Five, Whiskey Bravo Mike, from Mike's and Bravo Alpha Alpha. It's a whole different quality. It all totally depends on temperature and moisture. Are you going to do that? I'm going to do that now. 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 Okay, so to install SDR plus plus, first thing we need to do is to get uh, the installation file that I've created uh, on TechMaker's GitHub. All we need to do is to press copy, open a terminal, find somewhere to put it. I'm going to put it in the downloads folder, then do sudo nano rpi underscore install dot sh paste the text into there control x and then y and i've spelt it wrong Oh, we'll just edit some of this out in a minute. Okay, so there's our RPI file. What we need to do now, clear. What we need to do now is to chmod plus x RPI install. Then do forward. dot backslash rpi install this is assuming you've already done your windows updates and you've installed rtl sdr we should just be able to hit return uh, this does an awful lot so it's going to build the make certain cmake packages that allow us to compile c code it'll also install the volk package and it's Vault version 2. Uh, the original file had Vault 1 in. You can see here, this is now Vault 2. And there were a couple of issues with the original file that Alexandre Rumer created, but he did it blind. So he'd missed off the git clone, he'd missed off these some of these directory creations. Some of these had to have sudo added to them, and eventually it'll get there. But uh, between him and Kevin Laughlin, we've got a working SDR++ package, and it's really superb. So that's now cloning SDR++. I've already tried this a couple of times, so I'm confident it'll work this time. I've done it on a fresh inst installation of Raspberry Pi operating system 64-bit. I have also tested it on 32-bit. Don't worry about these warnings. You always seem to get them compiling C programs. It doesn't mean they're not going to work. Now, this is going to probably take about half an hour altogether when it comes to do the, uh, the full build. It does take a long time, but it's really worth it for the end result. So we'll come back to this when it's further on. Okay, so after an hour of compiling, which is a bit slow on this pie, but uh, it isn't overclocked yet, we finally got to the end of our compiling. If we're lucky now, we can go to Other, and our SDR++ will be installed. Okay. So let's try our SDR out. is war. I have not illusions that
OK, so I've run it once already and turned on the AGC. So that's working fine on FM. OK, one of the joys for me is being able to switch to uh, Q branch and be able to do, uh, decode signals on shortwave. Let's see how we get on with that. One issue I did notice earlier is that everything is reflected around 14.4 megahertz. So these signals here are here as well. I don't know if there's a workaround for this. It's something I'll have to investigate. But I noticed it also does it further up the band as well. Obviously, the RTL SDR works on a clock frequency of 28.8 megahertz. So I'd expect a reflection around that, but I wouldn't around 14.4. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But if you find these signals are inverted, they're still perfectly receivable. You just have to change it to lower sideband. <laughs> Something to bear in mind anyway, but I'm really pleased with the installation. <clears throat> it took an hour to compile, but it's worth the wait. So I hope you have as much success with it as I did. Please let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to keep on top of the code. The beauty of doing it my way is that you don't need to download the whole GitHub and move the files around. You've just got one file to run, and it'll install the whole thing for you. Hey, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Hope you have fun.